today I'll be showing you how to do this transition on After Effects, so without any dibba dabba, let's get on with it. Guys, I am so sorry, okay? I had a lot on my plate, and editing was just not one of my priorities, but I promise I'm getting back. You can follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you want to watch the edits that I post. I also post them on YouTube Shorts, but come on, who watches YouTube Shorts? So this lovely human approached me on Instagram and was like, hey, I'm having trouble finding tutorials of this transition. Can you do one? And I was like, yes, baby, I can. I felt so happy, but here's how you do the transition. For this, you need eight photos. Create a new composition with the composition settings being 1080 each with frame rate 30. Duration, it depends on your edit. I'm just showing you this transition, so I'm just keeping it. 13 because well Taylor Swift import your first four photos and scale them to your liking pre-compose each clip make sure that these two are clicked select all of the clips and add motion tile increase the output width and output height and click the mirror edges add blomo curves to the first clip you can also use do this using transform but I'm just using blur my curves because transform is confusing as fuck. Go a few frames after, go to warp X and Y and choose reflect. Click the stopwatches in front of shift X and shift the Y. Go a few frames after, increase the shift X and shift Y so it's diagonally displaced. Press U on your keyboard, select all of the keyframes and easy ease them. Select one keyframe and follow this graph. Do the same graph on the other keyframe. Right where the second keyframe is, split the clip and delete the second one. Do the same transition on each clip but change the direction of the transition. There is no hard fast rule that you need this clip to go in this direction, you can change it, but I'm doing it so all of them kind of converge in the center. Pre-compose each clip. Select all of the clips, press S on your keyboard and change the scale to 50. Go to the topmost clip, press align and choose the leftmost, topmost option. Go to the second clip, choose the rightmost and topmost option. Go to the third clip, choose the leftmost, bottommost option, and go to the fourth clip and choose the rightmost, bottommost option. Now import your other four pictures. Split them right where the first four clips end and delete the first half. Scale them and pre-compose each clip. Add motion tile to all of them, increase the output width and output height and click the mirror edges. Go to the first clip, add blurmo curves and depending on the position you're going to keep your clip in, do the same transition as the clip before that but in the opposite way. For example, I'm going to keep the first clip here in the top left corner. As you can see, this top left clip is going towards the center. So this one will also have to go towards the center. Easy ease the keyframes and then copy this graph. Just so you can see what I'm trying to do, I'm going to pre-compose this clip and reduce the scale to 50 and align it to the top left corner. It looks something like this. See? That is what I'm going for. It looks weird, I know, but... Trust the process, guys. Do the same transition with every clip. Once 
Once that's done, go to the beginning of the clip and select the clips that are opposite of each other. Press S on your keyboard, change the scale to 0, go a few frames after and change the scale to 50. Easy ease the keyframes and copy my graph. Copy these keyframes and paste them onto the other two clips. Select all the clips and press the motion blur. Select all the clips and then pre-compose them. Now you can add more effects which add the finesse to it. I'm going to do that and I'm going to show you how it can look. In the end, it will look something like this. Here is another example of how it can look. I am sorry if it's not up to your expectation, but believe me, if you do it in your own way, it will look way better. I'm just not good at simple transitions. Thank you for supporting me all this time. We're done.